How's it going, everyone? It is Andre Williams, and you know what time it is. It is time for the joke of the day. If you're new to this channel, we do this five days out the work week. You maybe you had a long, maybe you had a stressful day, so you came to watch this video, plus hear one of my corny jokes. So here it comes. What has four wheels and flies? A garbage truck. Right? Dirty garbage flies flying around. Come on. That was pretty corny for a Friday, right? So what we're going to be talking about today is Zometica. A few of my subscribers are like, hey, Dre, can we get an update in regards to what's going on with Zom? They had some news that came out recently and we want to get your opinion on it. So I'm like, since I'm here to serve you guys, that's what we're going to be doing in this video. So yes, they had a recent press release in regards to building a sales team. So in this video, we're going to be going into more details because we're going to be going over the official press release on their website and I also dissected a little bit but I will be going in further in regards to the final thought section. So in this video the agenda is we're going to be doing a technical analysis. We're also going to be taking a look at the institutional ownership and we're also going to be taking a look at the short interest. I think that'll be something that you're really going to be intrigued to see because I do see a lot of institutions are keeping their eye on Zom especially at the current prices of where it's at. And for a quick update many of you ask me are you holding shares in Zom. Like I've stated previously in other videos, I've already sold 75% of my overall position and I have 25% that's just sliding. Still some profit just out there. I'm not really too concerned about it. It's the type of money I'm not afraid to lose. I just believe that, hey, with this money invested, seeing where Zom could be a year to two years from now will be interesting and that's part of the reason why I haven't pulled my full investment and I made sure on the fact that, hey, I keep you guys updated on that so you're aware and you know that. So I won't take up any more of your time. Let's get into those videos and then I'll give you guys my final thoughts afterwards. So let's get into doing this technical analysis for Zometica. So we ended up closing the day here at 85 cents being down 12.8 three percent on the low it ended up testing 83 cents which you could see right over here and it also on the high ended up testing 94 cents which you could see right over here so the first thing that we want to take a look at are some areas of resistance especially looking at the trend for the past five days Days. So right away, quickly here, you could definitely see there's some resistance right here at this level of 94 cents. So Zom definitely needs to get past over this particular level in order to claim back to the $1 range. As you can see, it definitely has a gap that it can fill over here. And once it could get back into this particular area with some momentum, it could definitely get back to the dollar range where it was yesterday. So that's one thing to be aware of. Another thing is areas of support that seem to be holding up fairly well is right here at this 84 cent level. Can this area ever end up breaking? Of course it can. And that's exactly what I'm going to be showing you right now on the six month chart. So taking a look at the six month chart, we already seen already Zama has definitely been on quite the trend and it's definitely been going downward right since we could see all the way up here when it reached up at march the 16th a pretty sharp decline so what we want to take a look at if it ends up pulling back even further than what we're seeing right now we definitely going to see a test of this level here right at 70 cents if it pulls back right at 70 cents the next level that could, yes yes you are seeing this clearly i want to be honest with you guys so you're aware it is around 44 cents so 44 cents because we do have a gap here. So this gap needs to be filled. So in order for this particular area to be filled, it would have to start building up some sort of support or some sort of solid price action in this area. And since it hasn't, this is part of the reasons why the downside possible risk here is right around 38 cents. If it ends up breaking, of course, through this area that we have here at 70 but again it's not the most solid so it's one of those things where you'd have to wait and see what would happen and this would definitely be an opportunity right here if you were thinking to add some shares to your position 
because like I said before in previous videos, once that true forma is actually in wider circulation, we hear about more sales and so forth, I do see Zom being able to pick up some steam and be able to get past these levels. But again, this is if it comes down to this area of around 40 cents, where I think is a great buying opportunity to consider. So if this area did ever end up breaking, then the next level to look out for would be right here. Yes, you see that right, right at 22 cents. So now that you're aware, you know what the game plan is. We want to see Zom be able to get past the high that it hit at 94 cents because we know once it can get past that 94 cents, as we saw on the five day, five minute, then we could definitely start filling this gap that we have right here and gaining some momentum to get back into that dollar range. Keep in mind, like I was saying before, this is an area that we ended up touching yesterday, right? This is the area we also ended up touching the day before that, even on the 13th. So this is a familiar area for Zom. Even as you can see over here on the 14th from 10, when it had a very, very strong movement, you see a ton of buying pressure that runs the stock up all the way up to almost just under a dollar and 20 cents. It's dollar 19 cents. So just knowing it is able to do these particular type of moves is something to actually keep an eye on. And before I end this video, one thing I want you guys to be aware of is also taking a look at the RSI here. We could definitely see that Zom is oversold. It is well below 30. You guys know if you have confidence in a stock or you believe that this stock is going to be going places, right? If you have a lot of conviction, then this is possibly a buying opportunity. In this particular case, I rather have a wait and see approach with Zom because I do believe that there's still some more room for it to go in regards to on the downside. So that's the update to kind of keep you guys in the loop and so forth. So we're on the official Zomedica website and we're going to be going over the most recent news that came out yesterday. And part of the reasons why I did this video, because many of you were asking me about it and you kind of wanted my opinion on it. So let's get into it. So Zomedica to build a direct sales force for the true formal platform. Zomedica, a veterinary health company creating point of care diagnostic products for dogs and cats, announced that it intends to expand its direct sales organization while phasing out its distributor-based sales efforts. Robert Cohen, chief executive officer of Zomedica, commented, as True Forma's market presence grew, we intended to transition from a distributor-based sales model to a direct sales organization. So the reason why this is a very good move for Zomedica, because it just shows that they're gonna be more aggressive when it comes to their sales efforts instead of depending on the distributor. There's only so much that a distributor can do, so the fact that they're willing to take it a step further and bring it into their own hands is great for shareholders. Let's continue. However, due to anticipated changes at our current distributor that we believe have impacted its ability to market our products effectively, we will be accelerating that transition and building the a direct sales organization. While this effort may slow initial sales of True Forma, we have taken this action now to avoid any disruptions to our customers and to provide a foundation on which to build the marketing and sales of both True Forma and any future products developed or acquired by Zomedica. So what they're trying to say is it's going to take some time to actually get this sales organization up and running efficiently. Because of course, they gotta make sure they have the right people in place and they gotta have a strategy built out. So the fact that's gonna take some time, it's definitely something that they're wearing shareholders of. Zomedica currently employs eight direct field sales personnel supported by two regional managers, a vice president of sales and a chief commercial officer. Brooke Herps, Chief Commercial Officer of Zone Medica, commented, During my time as Head of Sales and Marketing at IDEX, I saw the value and impact of a direct sales organization. A direct sales force will significantly improve our ability to serve our customers and to sell our products in the veterinary market in the longer term. We are fortunate that we have the financial strength at Zone Medica to make this transition and look forward to building a quality sales force to match the excellent quality 
of Trueforma. So we're on fintel.io. We're going to be checking out the institutional ownership as well as the short interest for Zometica. So in regards to institutional owners, they have a total of 55. And there's definitely some noticeable names as we take a look as we scroll down this page. So green rows indicate new positions, while red rows indicate closed positions. So if we look from February to 23rd, institutions are definitely showing some interest in Zometica. One of those being is Vanguard, which is very, very well known. But if we take a look here, even from April the 15th, which was yesterday, we have optimum investment advisors going in with 20,000 shares and just taking that into consideration that is fairly significant we also have Schwab total stock market index with 201,000 shares so just taking a look at these numbers there's definitely institutions who are bullish on Zometica and we can see Vanguard has been making some adjustments and they've done this on three different occasions and this was near the beginning of March as well so just taking a look at this it's actually very interesting to see and I'm definitely looking forward to seeing how these institutions continue to actually act in the future will there be more continuations of more investments going into Zom I'll be definitely awaiting to see that but as we know many of these institutions have a long-term outlook in which I agree agree that if we see the true form of system being a success they'll definitely benefit from it and anyone who's a shareholder if we take a look now at the short interest the short volume ratio is around 28 percent so that is fairly high we know anything above 21 percent definitely has a lot of short squeeze potential so what this pretty much means so on average you see this 78 million shares being traded and out of that total we have short volume shares of 22 million so 22 out of the 78 million is being shorted and this was the date of April the 15th which was yesterday if we take a look at the short shares availability it is around 10 million that are available and the short borrow free rate stands at 2.15 percent if we take a look at the history of the short volume ratio 28 is fairly high but we have seen in areas back on April the 5th and as well as April the 1st when it was around 36 and 35 but outside of that it is definitely at a high here being at 28.44 and it's part of the reasons why we've seen the price also driven down quite a bit so for my final thoughts for Zometica I must say this is definitely a great move in the right direction the fact that they want to build their own direct sales force will definitely help with the success of true forma the fact that they're taking it into their own hands and not wanting to rely on their distributor because again at the end of the day a distributor has many other products right so they can't give that sole focus on that true form of system. So by Zom saying, well, you know what? We're gonna start doing this in-house. We're gonna put it all together. And then we're gonna make sure that we can give the best service for our customers or anyone who's interested in that veterinary space. And that is a very smart and a strategic move. But what we wanna see, of course, if you are a shareholder, is how is that going to look on the balance sheet? I like how they actually went in further and said that, you know what, it is gonna take a little bit of time because again, even though this is a smart move, it's something that they have to put together. So seeing that reflected fairly quickly, hey, they made sure that you have expectations and you need to be aware of it and be realistic. So in regards to when is this gonna have a significant impact, I'm definitely looking forward and I'm giving it until the end of this year I want to see some sort of sales figures from True Forma that looks promising. And I feel like, hey, as a shareholder, that's something that we need to expect. You can't tiptoe around that. And to get into more details into price action, I told you guys some possible areas to look out for in regard to support if it pulls back even further. So I would definitely take note of that and be aware. So if it does get into that particular price point, then you could be prepared and not surprised by it. And to give you guys pretty much that almost just end this video up, I just want you to be aware of the fact that, hey, Zone Medica has definitely had quite the roller coaster since we started talking about it on this channel. And for anyone who was holding any shares, all I'm gonna say is be patient. They came out with this press release, but if we think about even prior, which was the launch of the True Forma system, which was ahead of schedule, I may add, 
be patient in regards if you're going to be thinking about building out your position or bringing your cost average down or even just making a new position overall in general because there is that possibility that this price will pull back and that's part of the reasons why I want you guys to be prepared for that. Because at the end of the day, they're putting a sales force together. Are we really going to be getting any more news in regards to True Forma? Ask yourself that question. I don't see it personally. If they do, great. Again, I'm a shareholder. I will benefit from it. But if there's no news or there's no updates after this particular one that came out yesterday, I do see this stock pulling back even further. So that's what I wanted to update you guys on. Hope you found this video helpful and we'll talk soon.